Hello everybody. I am so excited to teach you simple present tense in today's video. Now, this lesson can be a little difficult, so I will do my best to keep it easy and fun for you. My goal is for you to understand how and when to use simple present tense by the end of this video. So, let's get started. Let's start with the first usage of simple present tense. The first usage is pretty easy. We used to talk about facts, truth and generalization. Let's look at some examples. The sun is bright. Now that's a fact. It does not change. Everybody knows that the sun is bright. It is bright today. It was bright yesterday and it will be bright tomorrow. That makes it a fact. Pigs don't fly. That's also a fact. Everybody knows that pigs don't fly. Cats are better than dogs. Now this you may not agree with. This is my truth. I am making a generalization about cats and dogs in this example. And finally, it is cold in winter. This really depends on where you live. But for a lot of people, or let's say for most people, it is cold in winter. So that's the truth for some people. Now let's look back and see the verb I used in the simple present tense. For the first sentence, we have I used is to talk about the sun. In the next sentence, I use the negative do not. Cats are better than dogs. I use are to talk about cats. Because cats is plural. And finally, it is cold in winter. Here I use is again. Now let's move on to the next usage. We also use the present tense to talk about habits and routines. So things and actions that happens regularly. So let's look at the examples. I always eat lunch at noon. You will notice I use the word always because I am talking about something that I do regularly. That is, eat lunch at noon. So I use the simple present tense. And here I use the verb eat. I eat. The second example says, you play games every day. Do you see the clue that helps you know? This is something that happens regularly. It's every day. So it's something that happens as a routine or a habit. So you play games. So the verb here is play. You play. The next example says Seth starts work at 9 a.m. daily. Again, this is something that happens regularly. Seth goes to work at 9 a.m. daily every day. Now, you will notice that I put a blue line under the S in stars. Can you tell me why? Well, children, remember, 
that when subject of a sentence is he, she, or it, we need to add an S or ES to the end of the verb in the simple present tense. So, Seth is a he. So, we need to add an S. Seth starts work at 9 a.m. daily. And the last example, they study English every Monday. Again, every Monday means that they do it regularly. And that's why we use the simple present tense, they study. So ever review, remember we use the simple present tense to talk about habits, routines, that happens regularly. Let's move on. These sentences are connected with thoughts, opinions, feelings, and emotions, and are five senses. I love my mom. The verb here is love, that's an emotion. It smells good. A smell is one of the five senses. You will notice that I underlined the S. Because remember the subject is it. Kelly feels happy. This is talking about feeling again. The subject here is singular now, which is she, so added S to the verb. Finally, they need help. We don't say that they are needing help, even though it is happening right now. So we say they need help. So remember... We use simple present tense with thoughts, feelings, opinions, emotions, and five senses. Now, let's see some more examples. Priya writes well. The verb in this sentence is writes. It tells us what Priya does. It describes an action that happens now or in the present. So, the word right is in the present tense. He washes the car. Here, the verb washes tells us about the work done by the boy now. So it is in the present tense. The verb in the present tense usually ends with S. But sometimes the verbs may not end in S. For example, goats eat grass, boys play football. The verb Eat and play are in the present tense because they tell us about something that is happening now. These verbs do not end in S. That's because the nouns goats and boys are in the plural form. Children, when the nouns are in the plural form, the verb does not end in S or ES. You like chocolates. I like chocolates too. The verb like is in the present tense. It does not end in S. 
Now let's see the other example. I am sad. The verb am is in the present tense. It tells us how the girl is feeling now. Raghav visits his grandparents every year. Here the verb visits tells us about an action that happens every year. So it is in present tense. The sun rises in the east. Here the verb rises tells us about an action that happens always. So rises is in the present tense. Now children, look at this table. Here, verbs in the simple present tense are formed in the following ways. So now, don't forget, the simple present tense is used for an action which happens in the present or is done regularly. It is also used to talk about things which remain the same. So now it's time for the task of the day. Write three sentences on what you do nowadays at your home every day. Think and decide carefully which tense should be used. That's all for today. Happy learning!